YouTube, it's your boy Greg, back again with another video. If you're new to this channel, we talk about fragrance related topics, so if that's something that you're interested in, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a few fragrances that I feel you need to know about and are both for men and women, so basically unisex fragrances, right? And the reason for me doing this video is because there's a lot of fragrances out there that a lot of people don't know about, uh, you know, because they're so used to going to stores such as Macy's and Dillard's. And sometimes you miss out on other fragrances, you know, other niche fragrances um, that are actually interesting and that I feel that you would actually like. So today, that's what I'm going to be talking about. I'm just going to uh, let you guys know a few fragrances I feel you should know about and all of these fragrances are unisex so whether you're a man or a woman you will definitely be able to try these out and if you like it you can definitely pick up a full bottle and have it in your collection so let's go ahead and dive into this. Alright so the first fragrance we're going to talk about is from the House of Creed and it's Royal Mayfair. So this fragrance right here is a fragrance that yeah you probably have seen it probably have heard about it but the reason that I put this in this lineup was because you know a lot of people pass this fragrance up because it's not talked about that much and it's not one of the more uh, popular Crete fragrances in their lineup but to me man I'm telling you I enjoy this fragrance because it's so elegant it's so mature and it's so unique it's very very unique but I will honestly say that when you first spray this on it has kind of like a gin and tonic uh, piney type of feel to it that really comes off a little bit rough and a little bit unpleasing to the nose so that could be a reason why a lot of people don't actually give it a chance because you know the initial spray is just not that pleasing but I'm telling you once it dries down into that rose into that eucalyptus into those citrus notes it just becomes such a nice elegant sexy scent very mellow but still just very sexy very elegant um it's not one of those sweet type of fragrances or like warm and spicy type of fragrances it's a very unique fragrance i'm telling you and yes it does have the rose in it but it's not like a heavy rose the rose is just in there a little bit to just kind of give it a floral component but the star player in this is the eucalyptus and it really really does shine so i'm telling you if you haven't tried this out or if you have tried it out but just kind of wrote it off after you first sprayed it i'm telling you just spray this and go and you're going to smell it you're going to see it starts to develop and you're going to really really enjoy it i promise you just give it a chance guys so again from the house of creed royal mayfair the next fragrance we're going to talk about is from the house of zaharoff and it's none other than signature rose this right here is a rose based fragrance it's a very very kind of juicy authentic rose it's so beautiful so sexy and just very calming this fragrance right here has a very calming relaxation type of vibe to it that i really really enjoy and although it's a rose based fragrance it actually has somewhat of like a sweetness to it almost like a balsamic resonance type of sweetness to it and it's just lovely man i'm telling you and the reason why i put this in this lineup is because zaharoff i don't know if they're in stores i believe they are in a couple stores um but normally you have to just purchase it from their website um you know or sample it whatever you want to do but most people don't know about the house of Zaharoff. So this is definitely a fragrance that I feel like men and women could definitely purchase um, and really, really enjoy. So if you like rose-based fragrances, or even if you don't like rose-based fragrances, this right here is top tier rose, in my opinion. This right here is a sweet, balsamic resonance, sweet rose, kind of juicy, mouth-watering, just nice, smooth and guess what it's going to get you a ton of compliments and it's very mellow and it also has an elegancy to it. it has an elegancy vibe to it it's very professional but like i said if you like rose or even if you don't like rose definitely try out signature rose and go ahead and try out other fragrances from that house so again from the house of zaharoff signature rose so the next fragrance we're going to talk about is from the house of zhezhov and it's none other than lyra now this fragrance right here is a fragrance that is just, it hits home for me because, you know, I really like citrusy type of things, you know, like oranges and lemons and stuff like that. And I also like things that are vanilla, like vanilla cookies, vanilla ice cream, stuff like that. So this fragrance right here really just does it for me. 
it makes me feel some type of way but it's a very very elegant smooth fragrance it does have the vanilla it does have the blood orange it does have the caramel in there so yes it does have you know edible notes within it but it doesn't lean super heavily on the gourmand side like you know you can say that you smell kind of good like a snack but not really this right here just kind of carries over into that smooth creaminess very elegant very toned down but so sexy in my opinion and it actually has kind of like a luxurious vibe to it as well um, and this is something i definitely could see a woman wearing and a man wearing or you know if you have a partner um, you both could wear this and smell good together. So if you're into those fragrances that are kind of vanilla based fragrances, got a little uh, citruses in it, got some caramel in it, definitely check out Lyra and the House of Jerzhov. So that's the reason why I put this on here because you're not really going to find many fragrances from the House of Jerzhov anywhere unless you go to, you know, a niche uh, based company, you know, somewhere like the sit room where they only sell niche fragrances, but you know, usually it's only one or two stores like that, you know, in the city. So uh, definitely go to the website, check out Lyra, definitely sample first. Why? Because they're very expensive. So like I said, if you like a vanilla based fragrance and you want to try to go get something a little bit different, go ahead and check out Lyra from the house of Jersey. All right. So the next fragrance we're going to talk about is from the house of BDK and it's Oud Ambramod. All right, so this fragrance right here is basically a oud and rose based fragrance, but this one has a little bit more uniqueness in my opinion. It's warm, spicy, and it does have kind of like a balsamic resinous vibe going on. You know, it's not like a gourmandish type of sweetness. It's just that very nice, warm, and cozy type of sweetness. And yes, up top, it does have that oud and it does come off a little bit, you know, pungent in your face. Um, it could be a little bit off-putting, especially for someone who's not used to that type of fragrance. But I'm going to tell you something. It's just like Royal Mayfair. Give it a chance. That kind of in-your-face, pungent oud does go away fairly quickly, guys. It goes away fairly quickly, and it just becomes such a sexy oud and rose-based fragrance with a little bit of spiciness, a little bit of warmth, and some sweetness mixed in. BDK is another fragrance house that I feel you should definitely try out. They have a lot of fragrances that are tailored to men and women. They don't really have fragrances that are just men and just women. Um, the labels will show for men and for women, but most of their fragrances are unisex safe. So when you go to their website and check out Oud Abramot, go ahead and check out the catalog and just look through it and maybe find something else that you want. Maybe buy you one or two samples so you can start expanding your collection and getting your nose on different things, which is the purpose of this video. So again, from the house of BDK, Oud Abramod. So the next fragrance we're gonna talk about is from the house of Nishane and it's Karagos. One of the best bottles in the game, in my opinion. I mean, this bottle right here looks amazing. And I think I said that before, like, the bottle itself just make you want to buy the fragrance. I mean, gold and black, you can't really go wrong with that, right? So this fragrance right here is a great base fragrance. I'm going to just let you know right now. This fragrance right here is like heavy on a grape. Just imagine like a dark grape that's aged well and, you know, just fully developed. That's basically what you're getting with this. But that's not the only thing that's really working for this fragrance. I'm telling you, it also has pineapple, which gives it a little bit more of that fruitiness, a little bit more of that sweetness. And it does have amber as well. So there's a little bit more sweetness. So what I'm trying to say is like this right here is a great fragrance and you have to like that type of fragrance. It is different. I really haven't smelled many fragrances that do smell like just straight up grape but this one right here is like a nice dark rich grape it does have somewhat of a tanginess but it does have somewhat of a woodiness and some sweetness within it as well so this is definitely a fragrance that i think you should definitely try out and that you should know about because most people when they try caragos they end up enjoying it so definitely check out caragos and the house of nishane all right so last but not least from the house of christian dior boys the argent now this right here is probably one of the most sexiest, classiest fragrances I've ever smelled like in my entire fragrance journey. It's one of those types of fragrances that really doesn't scream. You know, it's not in your face at all. However, it does leave such a nice sillage around you. Like it's one of those fragrances that when you smell it, it's like, man, that's not that strong. But 
people can actually smell it around you and it's very, very pleasant to them as well as it is for you, right? Now, this fragrance right here is what I would consider to be a money fragrance. When you smell this, it smells like money. It smells expensive. It smells like luxurious. It smells like someone who's of high class, but it's more like a mellow, under the radar type of high class. You know what I'm saying? It's not like in your face, trying to show out or anything like that. Now, some of the key players in this is Iris. It definitely does have somewhat of a powderiness to it, you know, a floral component as well. And it does have myrrh. And myrrh is something that I really, really enjoy in fragrances. It just comes off very subtle, but at the same time, very deep, very rich. And it gives it kind of like a balsamic resonant sweetness as well, which I really, really love in fragrances. And it also has amber and vanilla. So this is basically kind of like a sweet fragrance, not gourmandish at all, but it's one of those very toned down, luxurious, sweet fragrances that's very smooth and it's gonna, you know, stay close to you but people really can smell you, but it's not going to offend anybody. It's not going to project too much to where you're, you're, you're offending people, burning their nose and just kind of like smelling nasty. No, it's not that type of fragrance at all. It's a very sexy fragrance, very alluring. And it's one of those fragrances that, you know, when people smell it, they're gonna be drawn to you. It's just one of those fragrances that has that effect on people. And this is definitely unisex. So whether you're a man or a woman, you definitely, definitely can pull this off. Now, the reason why I put this on the list, a lot of people may say, well, you can find Christian Dior pretty much anywhere. Yeah, but for the average Joe, the guy who goes to Dillard's and Macy's all the time, they're not gonna find this. So that's why I put this on the list because not a lot of YouTubers talk about this one. And I feel this is a heavy hitter, man, when it comes to fragrances. I feel like it's one of the best out there, man. So again, from the house of Christian Dior, boys, the Argent. All right, so that's gonna wrap up this video. Um, like I said before, this video was for, you know, the people that need to kind of expand their collection. And this was for me to kind of let you guys know about fragrances that you're not going to see at your normal stores like Macy's and Dillard's. And, you know, even some of these you can't find at Nordstrom's or, or Neiman. So I definitely wanted to kind of let you guys know about some fragrances that I feel that you should definitely try out and you should definitely have. And I wanted to make it where it was suitable for men and women. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you liked the video, go ahead and give your boy a thumbs up. And that's it. Take care. Peace.